The first airfields had soft runways. The smaller, tailwheel configuration aircraft in use at the time had no trouble operating off of these grass fields. However, special skill was required to get the aircraft down when not landing on a nice, paved surface. These skills aren't as commonly put in use today now that many airports are paved, but some of the best airfields out there are grass strips, so it's great to be able to land on them, and you'll need to be able to demonstrate your soft field landing abilities on your checkride. The main difference between a hard and soft field for our purposes is the level of ground friction. Paved surfaces have the advantage of adding minimal friction to the wheels once they make contact, so aircraft can more easily roll down the runway without getting stopped abruptly. The soft surface of a dirt and grass runway will more easily catch our wheels and cause the aircraft to stop quickly. This is a good thing as far as not using up as much runway in the landing rollout, but the extra friction can cause a nose down moment on the aircraft making the risk of a prop strike or even a flip greater. To mitigate this, we'll want to land keeping the weight off the wheels as much as possible. Our approach will be the same as a normal landing. We might bring in a bit less speed than normal to help us out. To keep weight off the wheels, we'll want to round out slowly to have a much slower sink rate towards the ground. And here's the real tip. Prior to touchdown, we'll want to add a small amount of power. This will bring the nose up a bit, and at the moment of touchdown, we'll counter that nose down force applied by the soft ground. During the rollout, let's keep that power in just a bit. With the elevator fully back, try to keep the nose wheel off the ground as long as possible. Once that nose wheel touches, our ground friction increases greatly and will stop abruptly. Under no circumstance should the brakes be used. They won't be necessary with the softer surface, and this will add to the nose down force of the aircraft. Go out and practice some landings on a real soft field. There are too many great grass strips out there to not include them in your list of destinations.